Welcome to another teacher tip with Mr. Long and we are looking at another AI or artificial intelligence that can help teachers in the classroom. This is Elena. This is an AI extension that works with your Google Slides. So you can just search for Elena. There are lots of links to it. You can go to any of these links. You can even go into the Google workspace, which I did over here and I installed it via this method. As you can see, it's already installed on my machine, but you can install it. It's free. When you do your first presentation, it does ask your details, but this connects to your Google login so make sure that you've got a google login that you've logged in with your gmail account so let's go have a look if you go to your google slides and you want to create a presentation once you've installed it it'll be under extension so if i click here on extensions you'll see that it's been added over there and we're going to create a new ar presentation so let's click on it now I'm using the free version, but you've got three uses per day and you've got 10 for the week. But if you want more then you can upgrade, but we're just going to give it a topic. I'm going to give it a topic on Dorian Gray. So I'm giving it the topic, the picture of Dorian Gray, the book that is used in set work. And I'm going to give it a brief prompt. So I've created a prompt. Remember that one of the keys to using AI correct is to have good prompts. Make sure you've been as specific as you can about what you're wanting. So I want a lesson about the three major themes in the book, the picture of Dorian Gray. And I want to include ideas and hints for high school students make sure you put a target audience and what you they want to use this presentation for and to help them for answering set work essays on the book there are settings we can set the number of slides that we want I'm gonna leave it at automatic we can put the target audience I'm gonna put my target audience as grade 12 but you'll notice that you can include university and adult education if you are someone who's not teaching children let's go there are some advanced options so the web research mode, that means it'll search for recent content based on your input. So this is nice for if you want to find more up to date information, we can specify the, the output length. Let's keep it at medium. We can even have it create AI generated images if you want. So I'm going to put that on and we can include speaker notes if we want to do this presentation. So I'm going to put that on as well and specify the font size and so on. I do warn you that AI generated images not recommend for most lessons, but I just want to see what they can come up with for this demo. So I put all my settings, let's go create the presentation. Presentation. Then we get to pick the theme. Now they give you a whole bunch of themes that you can use. Browse through this and find the one that matches your particular preference. I'm going to pick this learning lab one, which I'm going to click on that one. And then I'm going to create presentation. And there we go. We've got our presentation over here asking us for feedback and how we feel about our presentation. Obviously, this will help them to improve on their AI. Let's go have a look at the presentation. So as you can see, it's used the theme. It's given me some nice introductions. Identify the key themes. And yeah, we can start to see some of the AI generated images, which aren't that bad considering the topic that we are talking about. See, they've gone into a bit more detail over here. And as you can see, there's about 17 slides in this presentation. As I've always said with AI, AI is a great tool to give you a nice framework. Then you can go in and add in your extra bits and the parts that you want to edit to, to make it fit what you really want. But it's a really great starting place. As you can see, a really cool design and it can really save you time. So you just have to add and edit some of the information for what you want to present. So I'm really happy with this. I'm going to give them some good feedback. I think providing feedback to AI is very important as it gives it information about what is good and what is bad so it can improve its algorithms. So let's try another example where we're going to do another presentation. We're going to go here to our extensions. Let's create a new AI presentation. So I'm going to create a presentation about being safe on social media. I've asked it to create a presentation about being safe online. And I've asked it to use a document. I've got this document that I found about keeping safe on social media by the National Security Agency. Some information in here that I want to incorporate into my presentation. There are some diagrams in, so let's see if we can incorporate that as well. So let's go try it out. So all we do for that is we come here and we add an attachment added from this device so i've added that attachment i'm just using the default advanced options i'm going to use this theme and let's see what it creates so here we go we've got our presentation i can click over here and see all the details about social media they even incorporated images that are not from that document but as you can see some useful information and slides that you can then go and edit yourself remember you are in google slides which means you can go and edit this information by adding more if you want but it gives you the key template that you need in order to get going with your presentation and save a lot of time so a really useful tool for educators i strongly suggest it so that is elena ai go install this extension go try it out as i said you get three presentations a day up to 10 a week and if you really find it useful and you need to make more use of it and some of the more advanced features then i suggest that you pay for those features so go check out elena 
for more digital tips, make sure that you click on that subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you. And please share us with your friends so that we can show them all the features that you are using via this channel. And remember, don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Long way.